There it goes. Uh oh. Hey there. Welcome back to brand new video. Today we are making sodium metal. Sorry about the wind in the background in advance. If it's if it's too bad, I'll put in captions to make sure you can understand what I'm saying. Today we're gonna make sodium metal using magnesium powder and sodium hydroxide. I think this is probably the easiest method, but it isn't the best method. I'm either I'm also gonna try purifying it later on. So hopefully this goes well. Also, I am not the one who came up with this process. Nighthawk and Light came up with this. Actually, I don't know if he came up with it, but I did see him use this process, so maybe he came up with it, I'm not too sure. But I'm going to use the exact process he uses. So, uh, link up there, or down there, where you can see the original video, all credit due to him. First, we're going to weigh out eight grams of sodium hydroxide. This is commonly found as a uh, drain cleaner, so <clears throat> should be pretty easy to find. If not, you could probably order online or make it yourself, which I might try later on. The container I'm gonna be using today is this right here. I found this from a, an old Fritos cheese container. Hopefully it'll work well. It appears to be aluminum. I recommend steel because the melting point is obviously higher. I have my doubts that this will actually work fine, but whatever, we'll, we'll try it and see what happens. Our next ingredient is going to be eight grams of magnesium powder. Probably could have, um, I probably could have crushed the sodium hydroxide a bit better, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm using this right here, hopefully it'll work decently. Now I'll just go on top. We don't want the air to get inside, because the sodium we're going to be producing will react to the air and it'll ruin our product. I'm going to use some of my homemade fuse. Link up there where you can find the video. I don't actually know if these will work though, uh, just so you know. So if these don't work, I'll have to get some of my magnesium ribbon out and hope that will work. But we'll try this first and see if that works. And hope that nothing goes wrong. I guess I will put a quick disclaimer here I am not responsible for any harm you do to yourself do this yourself I'm taking necessary safety precautions I got fire extinguishers and I'm wearing necessary safety equipment I'm doing this outside most importantly this reaction will produce high temperatures so as long as you stay back you should be perfectly fine which is what I will be doing but I just thought I mentioned that so just so YouTube doesn't go haywire and start deleting all my videos Got my torch. There we go. Stay safe, people. I don't think that worked. There it goes. Uh-oh. Well. I think it destroyed my can. <laughs> oh no. That poor can just got destroyed. I'm backing away from this. Well, I guess I got some good news and bad news then. Good news is my uh, homemade fuses work perfectly for this, so if you're doing this yourself, I recommend watching that video because it works just fine. Bad news is, of course, destroyed my can. As you saw there, the uh, big fireball that came out of the bottom of that. Oh, that must be the sodium reacting with the air. I can hear a little bit of sizzling. Yeah, that was, uh, that, was that was a hydrogen igniting that caused that big fireball. But uh, after, right after that, it completely destroyed the can so I'm gonna have to find a new one I was hopeful but at the end of the day there's no way that can would have worked use steel and not aluminum okay I'm gonna tip this over from a distance to see what will happen there it is might have worked Crap. dang it I bet you that would have worked if I put some mineral oil on that. Crap. 
Oh, there's sodium for you. Sodium aggregate that that produced. Well, I'm gonna try again in the next video and try to get some results. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.